So, uh, last we left off, the group of you uh, made your escape from the pit, broke through the barricade, uh, fought through numerous guards until one of Jarzok's lieutenants showed up and managed to fireball everybody out into unconsciousness. Yes. Um, you know that many of the other, uh, we'll say, prisoners uh, perished oh. at the preceding escape as well. But that wasn't that wasn't all of them by any stretch of imagination. That was certainly the ones that volunteered to fight for their freedom. Um, and you know, I think at least I think two of them survived or something like that. I don't like the dozen or something like that. It was quite the quite the push. Oh man, uh, brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Uh, well, you guys read the campaign description. I, I told you what you're in for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and so you, uh, the three of you, um, can everybody make a Constitution saving throw? Okay. All right. Con save plus two. Fourteen. I got a fourteen from Zogchen. I got a ten. Ten. Oh man, yeah. I expected it better from Barbarian. And more barn. Five. Uh oh. <laughs> right. Um. It's so that I'm clear. It's the uh. It's it's been the one beneath dexterity, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah. You just hit that. Okay. Cool. You get the yeah. deep point on one dude. Super awesome. All right. Oh, you so, know, Zog yeah, Chan, actually, so yeah. you, yeah. you begin coming to consciousness, and you can smell, um, you can still kind of smell the same thing you smelled when you fell unconscious, which was basically burning hair. Um, mm. And you can, you, you've had your, I don't want to say you've had your beard caught, caught on fire before, but come on, we, we all have beards. We know what happens. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And so uh, you can smell the, a little bit of burnt hair, cinders uh, immediately, and you can also smell it from around you as well. Uh, your eyes begin to take hold. Okay. We're in what looks to be kind of a smaller, maybe um, 20 foot by 20 foot uh, cell, uh, where you are, you have your arms up, chained to the wall. Okay. Uh, Feet are in chains as well. They're kind of looking around, and you can see at least more barn in there. Okay. Chained up, kind of slumped over on the wall. And you can see Tierless slumped up against the wall. Um, although Tierless has a more unconventional chain sure. situation, which you can't entirely make out because he's he's laying down. He's a horse. I mean, it, it's, it's hard. I mean, how, how do you chant a centaur? Like a harness, probably. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking, yeah. See, it's in the oh. here, but you can't see it, so I'm not going to reveal it yet. Yeah. Okay. 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 But um, there, there's definitely three of you in chains uh, in this in this chamber. Um, you're looking at the stonework a little bit. It's dingy. It's not. Doesn't smell good. But it's hard to smell it if there is like any kind of rot in the room because it's like it's hard to smell over your beard uh, where it was burnt. <laughs> um, and uh, if you guys if you guys fell in a pit of acid, I'd say your beard burned away. But that's a different story. Uh, <laughs> um, Hopefully not. They'll do it, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but you're you're uh, you start gaining consciousness, and you can you can see pretty well in here, actually. Okay, what do I see? What's it look like? Uh, you see your you see your your two compatriots, uh, one on each of the other walls. On the fourth okay. wall, I, I guess you can't see the wall behind you, but on the other wall, you can see there is a like a a, a, a large iron door. Uh, constrain you. The ceiling's maybe like it's not a very tall room. It's maybe seven feet tall. Um, well, that's gonna be rough for uh, the centaur. Yeah, he he's gonna brush his head on it, but you know he can he can bend at the waist. Um, yeah. And so you you don't give a shit. You're like this is plenty tall. This is this. Well, is, sure, yeah. These are long. Well, I'm really. level three now. What's up? I, I can get big. Oh yeah, nice dude. Yeah, actually, and that's actually you're thinking uh, time to Hulk out possibly. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, do it. Maybe we'll see. So, um, but yeah, um, so you're you're kind of sitting there, and, and you have your you have your arms chained up. You can see your legs. Just my arms. What about my legs? Uh, your legs are your legs are shackled to each other. Okay. And then your arms are, are tied up behind you. Um, okay. Above you on like onto the wall. Um, the, what what are they tied with? Uh, is it rope? It's chains. Chains. Okay. Yeah, and you can you can kind of feel your arms kind of move a little bit, like it's through like a, a loop up there. Okay. Um, 
this might seem weird, but is does the door open inward or outward? Where are the hinges? Um, the door opens inward. So towards okay. Breathing. Okay. Let's that can be positive since we have a uh, a rogue. Um. All right. Uh, well, I can't really move. Um, I'm gonna try to to talk oh, to. And you're at my, one hit point. <laughs> Just to be clear, you're at one hit point. <laughs> all right. Well, let's change that. Um, okay. Well, that's not good. Um, all right. Well, I, I, I try. You know, I, I talk. Try to talk to more barn or or the trouncer. Okay. You know, so, you know, you guys awake. You maybe I, it's you saying it's pretty small. It, it, what's the floor? Is the floor like dirt? The floor sand? is dirt. Is, the floor. All right. Dirt. I try to like kick some some sand over to like wake them up. Maybe. All right. Um. Yeah. More barn. Tearless, uh, you guys kind of like uh, start kind of coming to consciousness. Uh, Morbarn, you're on like the chains are really holding you up. Like your your feet kind of barely hit the ground. Tearless, um, you have your arms actually like bound behind you. Okay. Like them, and then you uh, you can kind of feel uh, what they, what's been done is that like those chains that are hooked to your, each of your, uh, legs. Okay. So, so you're, I'm cent centaur tied. You're, yeah, you're centaur -tied. Hog tied. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, it, it, it's, you, you're, you're aware of this kind of technique. Essentially what it would do is if you were to like try to run, you would just like rip your arms off. Okay. Like it would be pretty, it would be pretty dramatic for you to try to try to do full gate in this form. Might be something I'll have to consider. I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> this armless it make, centaur. Yeah, it would look pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm for it, dude. Brutal campaign, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. It, dude. I don't mind. Ever see, I mean, you ever seen I Crippled Masters? That that one guy has look, no arms look, in it. The first time ass. I ever dismembered a character in my my campaign was a fucking. I, I had a gnome get his leg bit off by an umber hulk. Oh shit! <laughs> like like. So I feel saying. really triggered by that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, but yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Tearless, you're kind of having you. You can try to get to your feet. It's going to be difficult, but you can certainly get to it. But ultimately, all of it's chained up to um, at two points to the wall. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to at least stand up. Sorry. More one, you can stand up without too much trouble. Or you're you're already kind of you're kind of hanging there, honestly. Mm-hmm. Where are we? <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm spitting dirt out of my mouth. Um, uh, listen, I'm before I I think about hulking out to break through these chains. Uh, since we have yeah. a rogue in the crew, you know, because I don't want to use it up yet. Because I think I have to do a long rest before I do it again. Yeah, right? it's once a day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you get out of your shackles? All right, I the can, manacles. I can, I can. I'm gonna need some sort of lubricant. So, <laughs> if someone, Chouncer, yeah. if, if you can spit on my chains, I can. Centaurs are so centaurs, my... so centaurs are half horse, not half camel. <laughs> 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 I'm like. Yeah. yeah. Trying to I'm get the saying. biggest loogie up. Trying to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Uh, maybe maybe I can pee in your direction. Yeah, that's, that's about all I say. <laughs> pee, pee ain't a good lubricant, bro. Yeah, yeah. Horse piss. Horse piss. Uh. We're, we're, we're going to end the, end the story there. You, you can certainly try to slip out of it. Mm. Um, you think you might be able to like, kind of navigate your hands a little bit. You are kind of tiny. Um, right. These are kind of these one size fits all, which we all know is bullshit. Yeah. In real life. Like, <laughs> so like, <laughs> so you might be able to try to slip out. If you want to try? Yeah, I can right. definitely make it happen. Uh, make a make an acrobatics check. Sure thing. Ten. Ten. Okay. You start kind of moving your your hands through a little bit, or you start trying to like you start trying to like kind of pull yourself up and trying to like undo the thing so you have a better mm -hmm. angle on it, but it's not really uh, coming up. It's not really happening. Um, your next option might be to try to like dislocate something. I was thinking Ooh. that that would be what nice. I had to do. That little lethal weapon um, move, huh? Yeah. 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 Pop it. Pop it. 
<laughs> little, little rigs. Yeah. You got a pop and, <laughs> pop and lock in there? All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, make a uh, sleight of hand check. And if you're willing, if you're willing to dislocate both, I'll give you advantage. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I, I'm that, always that down to suck. take one for yeah. the team. It's like What's up? twenty. Twenty. Okay. So yeah. you, you yes. managed to dislocate your left thumb and <laughs> pull it through. Uh, this is extraordinarily painful. I'm gonna give you. A, if you're gonna have disadvantage on anything that uses that hand. <laughs> Like, it's my yeah, left thumb. It, it hurts. It hurts to put back in. Yeah, I was gonna say I if you're willing to dis- if you're willing to dislocate uh, both your shoulders, I would rip off my arms and escape. <laughs> <laughs> so I have one hand free. You, yeah, you have one hand that's not in great shape. Fully, yeah, <laughs> but it's free. Nice. Work. All right. Um. So yeah, so you, you you and you're actually managed to like because the way that the shackles are set up, you actually managed to pull your other arm down. So you actually have both arms pretty free. I mean, this one's not okay. free; like you're not gonna be able to run away from it, but you do have them more capable. Okay. But one hand is still shackled. Yeah, it's still in shackles, and you can move it all around your. But person. the but the chain is a little bit has a little bit more slack. Oh yeah, it has a lot more slack. Like you can you can okay. reach down, and touch your toes if you want to. All right. Well. Um, Time to break these chains. Do it. Cue the docking. <laughs> <laughs> break those chains. Um, and how do I do that? I do that by. Yeah. <laughs> Good question. Yeah. Yeah. I escaped the prison. How do I do that? Can I stand um, up by chance too? Is it easy? Make a make an acrobatics check, uh, Tearless. Try okay. to stand up. It's very difficult. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Oh, 16. Oh, right. yeah, you managed to stand up. Oh, nice. Um, you All stand right. up straight. Your arms are kind of behind your back. Um, you can see Morborn's got a, got a um a left arm free. Um, you can definitely see a certain bruise around the thumb and shit, but uh, they have their they're hand free and they're kind of sitting, you know, standing up and ready to go, or better off than you guys are. Zogchen seems to be just kind of watching, taking this all in. I am. Like, man, uh, you guys are nuts. <laughs> Zogchen, your thumbs and shit. You, you pick up pretty quick looking at the, the stonework on the walls. Okay. But this is, you actually know which building you're in on the premise. You saw it on the way in when you came in a year ago. And Ooh, okay. it's one of their kind of like little holding cells they would have for someone that was like, you saw people get dragged in here if they're getting like, you know, pretty uh, out of line or something like that. Um, or they needed to be taken away from the rest of the group. Gotcha. So you're, you know, you're on the other side of the wall for sure. Over the wall. Like, you're Got out of the quote unquote pit official as it would be. But there's... is there any, anything on the ground that I could like hoof over to more barn or um, like, there's like, yeah. some, um, it's largely debris and some rocks. It is raw ground. Um, you do see a rock. You think you could kind of you could kind of kick over a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah you, wanna... you, you can kick a rock over. Yeah, I'll try to like back hoof a rock over to more barn. So, so maybe... you, you kick a rock over more barn. This, this rock lands pretty close to you. It's a pretty good size, about you big. Yeah. Um, big for your. I mean, you would you would probably be able to do two hander on it if you want to try to like break your shackles on your feet or something like that. Well, I got a bum thumb, so maybe well, I one. awkwardly grab it. Oh, okay, yeah, you awkwardly grab it. <laughs> Boom! All right. Do it. So you go to, Snapped you go to, open. You go Snapped to to, open. You try to go smash it. Um, yeah. uh, give me a, a strength check. Uh, so this is like under your, uh, basically it's d20, just d20 straight. Mm-hmm. You can free yourself with this rock. I know you can do it, Barbar. <laughs> Ten. You bust it, though. Ten. You you bring it down and it clanks loudly. Uh, all of you guys kind of hear the echo inside. Uh, you're definitely now making noise. Uh, well, you know when that happens, like once it clanks, I yell out like a like a, I fake like a, a scream, like yeah. painful prison. 
Make us start coughing. Yeah. Performance, <laughs> check. Log Jen, performance check. Yeah. yeah. Thank uh, you. Because I'm such a badass, they might not believe that I would. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. It's, it's a bluff, dude. That, that's a hard <laughs> lie. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled it too. I told you. <laughs> so you're all like, oh no, it hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. Don't. <laughs> um, you bring it down and like it, the rock uh, hits the, the chains and you for a moment you're not sure but you thought you thought maybe you broke the rock but you didn't break the rock and you but you also didn't break the chains all right but i dented it i dented it no no i mean no <laughs> how how strong are my chains would i be able to i mean just metal huh i can't like actually you could i mean you try to bust out of a, it go make a strength check go for it yeah go yeah raw strength check uh which how are you gonna try to break them what, what part are you gonna try to break um let's see i mean does it feel like it's easier to get my i guess i'll try to rip or not rip but try to free my arm somehow okay you try to pull them apart from behind yeah you? Okay. yeah uh yeah make a strength check uh okay plus three 19 19 okay yeah you start pulling them apart and you think you can probably pull up you can probably pull it off uh, it, it might take a little more effort. Uh, I know you do have another rage, which would give you advantage on the check. So you really want to try to go berserk on it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That actually, yeah. I'll, I'll kind of right, just, uh, uh, get myself. Okay. Uh, you get advantage on the check now. Okay. We'll do two. Come on. Oh, I got a 20. So I got a natural 20. That's a 23 right. on the first one. Second uh, one. Okay. I got a seven. So you, you managed <laughs> to break them free. Uh, your your hooves are still kind of bound together, so you can't get full gait. Like okay. they're, they're still bound, but your arms are free. Um, okay. And you're still kind of you can still see like where the the chain's going up to the wall, but you can kind of walk around a little bit. I'll still kind of pretend that you know, just in case someone walks yeah. by or anything. Right. But um, I'll be saying I'll just mention to them I I've, I've freed my arms. So you have, you have you have the chains on here, and like. I know. Um, each one of the, like the manacles kind of has like a length of chain about like yay long on it. So okay, um, why didn't you just start this to begin with? I have a dislocated <laughs> thumb <laughs> and a dumb rock. <laughs> you can always, dramatic. yeah, you can throw the rock back to me, and maybe I can try to free. Well, you, their, yeah, right. okay, okay. You're done. You're you're out, baby. Well, he's my legs, are free. my arms, yeah, oh, yeah. But he or, can't uh, touch his toes. Yeah. My legs. Yeah. <laughs> my horse legs are bound. Um, how about you, Zog Chen? You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to hulk out. All right. going to hulk out. All of a sudden, you see Zog Chen grows from his – how tall are you? Is your character like four foot? Uh, I mean, like orig originally, yeah. I mean, I'm like three, four foot, something like that. Right. So all of a sudden, he goes from like about, like about like three and a half feet tall to about like – Closer to like eight feet tall. I look wow. like that dude from Harry Potter. What's what's his name? Oh, um, wait, uh, uh, Harry. Oh, yeah, ha Hag uh, you're right, Haggard. Haggard yeah. I know nothing about it, but he's like a big, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you you get massive, yeah. and you're kind of having to hunch over a little bit inside the place. The chains all break on you um, as you enlarge out. Uh, and Does it make any kind of noise? Yeah, you it think? makes like like when you actually do it, or the the, the yeah. chains break. Like the actual, because I haven't played uh, a drug in a while. I mean, is it like, do I just go, or is it? A, does it make? Does you the actual metamorphosis yeah. make noise? You expand out, and you have to have the space <laughs> yes. to do it. So this, does all his clothes burst yeah. off? <laughs> yeah, I got like, like, like if you were in a crate and you try to do it, you couldn't be able to do it. Like you can't bust out yeah. of like like that sure. kind of compromise. But you can break. You do break out your chains. And they kind of get big, and you're 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 pretty. You're all of a sudden you guys see that he is large. Um, you know he's actually what's up? You know this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man. Um, How long does it last for? One minute. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so whatever you need me to do, I got to do it now, guys. You're, you're large for one minute. Right, who do you want to go? Yeah. Who do you free first? Uh <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> How about the rogue since she's got the thieves' okay. tools? So go over, make it. Give Thanks. me a, uh, give me a strength check with advantage because you are large and in charge. <laughs> My best is a twelve. Okay. So you start going over and yeah. start kind of pulling on the chains a little bit, uh, getting used to your new form. 
uh, trying to get leverage. It's kind of hard because you're kind of hunched over a little bit. Uh, Tiros, yeah. give me a uh, give me another strength check with advantage as you rage to try to break your chains. Alrighty. I, I get when, when I when I think of Tiros breaking the chains, I think of like Morpheus in the Matrix, like when he's breaking those chain, breaking the the cufflinks. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen and a one. Was that? Or fifteen and a three. So fifteen would be my highest. 15? Okay. So yeah, you you actually kind of start breaking. Um, uh, you kind of leverage yourself a little bit, hold on to the chain, the wall to give your legs a little bit more like uh, thing. You actually manage to free your front left hoof. Okay. My favorite hoof. My favorite hoof. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Uh, more barn. Do you want to try to do anything or while? Well, so you suddenly have this large zog chain. I. I I trust that these guys got me. Okay. I'm just going to hang tight. Zogchen, give me another uh, strength check with advantage. Try it again. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, well, no. I forgot the plus two. 14. 14. Nice. Yeah, you start freeing Morbarn a little bit. Uh, there you go. You managed, to, you managed to pull the one off the wall, so uh, Morbarn's arms are not completely free. But the um, – like, so the Morborn could walk away, but would be, still be in the manacles or the, the chains of the shackles. Okay. Well, look, do you, before, before we go on, am I, this is to my compatriots, before I'm not hulked out anymore, you want me to try to break down the door? And then we can deal with your chains? Might be a good idea. Uh, or, I, or if they come in, I mean, will we be stuck? Or you could just <laughs> tear the... <laughs> Tear this phone book in half. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, you know, if you free us, we can all charge the door at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, um, well, I can always the rage. Door. It opens oh, the door. Yeah, the We're not door. charging shit. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try to rip it off the hinges. Just that's, smart. That's, that's my plan. All right, brother. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to aim for that. All what, right. what do the hinges look like? Um, they're, they're older. I mean, definitely not in great shape, but they, they'll hold somewhat. I mean, they're, they're still iron, but you could definitely, you think you have a shot at it. Yeah. Let's break them hinges, right, baby. Give me, a, give me a strength check of advantage. Uh, more barn, you kind of, you're kind of getting a little bit free, feel a little better about it. Uh, your hands are completely free. Here, let's give me another strength check of advantage. Okay. Oh, wait, I get advantage, right? Yeah. Here, I'm going to roll it. Oh, Let's nice. Start. That would be 19. All right. So uh, you, eight. Manage, you go up and like. Uh, you manage to kind of like grab the door handle and start pulling in. Okay. You just like rip through the stone in the wall with like the lock. Nice. And it just kind of shatters. Yeah. yeah. The door is still intact, but like it, 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 it's pretty loud, but like it's still, it's open. I need a, I need like a catchphrase. If it's clobbering. <laughs> yeah, you do. Like you do. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to go with the Ric Flair. Chain. You need <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ric Flair. Nature boy, nature boy, coming at you hot, and then I, I got a, and then you shrink. Suck <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah right. suck it. <laughs> <laughs> what you get? Uh, I got an eighteen and eleven, so an eighteen. Okay, so yeah, you you managed to uh, free actually your, the rest of your legs pretty well. Okay. Um, there's still there's still kind of the shackles around your your legs and still on your arms, but your your okay. able body. More barn, you just have them on your legs. You still have the shackles on your legs. Um, yeah. But it, it's going to limit your mobility, but you can certainly uh, move. You just can't, cool. like, run, basically. So. I mean, I definitely try to go over there and help more barn free. Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me another, yeah. yeah. All right. Give me, give me another. Uh, you're in a rage. You're, you're in a okay. chain breaking rage. I'm in a chain breaking rage. Uh, a great metal <laughs> song. You chain breaking rage. Fuck. I'm sure it's there somewhere. It's somewhere 13. Yeah. I got a 13. Okay. You Hold go over here and try to break more barns like thing and you're, you're, you can't get the ch the chains broken. Um, I grow tired. tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, you, uh, but yeah, you open the door up, uh, Zogchen, and you see outside there are um, several guards. Uh, there's another one of the buildings, kind of like the one you're in, like there's okay. one across the way. Um, several of the guards are kind of set up in a camp um, or kind of like, not in a camp, but like more of like, um, yeah, I don't want to say a camp, but they're kind of hanging out. It's definitely nighttime. Um, it's okay. Really much later than like when you guys were fighting earlier. Um, but you can see that you're definitely on the other side of the wall. Uh, and you can see that there's fires kind of blazing at the gate you guys came through. All right. It looks like the what it, that that whole fence you guys kind of came through in that gate it's like burning 
Um, it's unclear on like who's burning it, but it's it's definitely burning. All right. The luminity of the night. Well, I they don't see this, right? So I'm telling them this. Um. No. Yeah. No one else sees this. So, just you. Okay. Well, I I I, I tell them what okay. you know. My recon. What's happening? <laughs> Um, so again, sorry, cause I'm getting lost on the geography here. So we were kind of like in a hut. We're not exactly in a building. It, it's not a hut, but like it, it has stone walls and it's more of just kind of a, like a very basic structure with thick walls. But it, like when I opened that door, it just went to outside. Yeah. Okay. And no one, I didn't alert anybody. No one's looking uh, you at You can me. see some guards are kind of like, are kind of looking over at you. It looks like their numbers are dwindled. Um, okay. You know, I mean, there would normally be, but they're definitely like on a skeleton crew at best. And so have my hit points. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna charge you with one hit point. No. Are, um, are, are we all at one too? Yeah. yeah okay, that's yeah, what I figured. Right. Up. Yeah. I it's mean, not... I'll bum rush the show if you want. I mean, I'm, I'm hoped out, but I mean, the way I roll dice, it, it probably ain't gonna work. Um, and we, and we don't have our healer either. So. And, and I should also mention, you guys don't have any of your weapons. Um, yeah, you had a shield. You wouldn't have. You do have. If you had armor, you have armor on still. I got my mitts. Mm -hmm. uh, you have your okay. Crap, so. Wait. So, so I didn't shatter the door technically. No, I just didn't. ripped it off. All right. You just. I'm gonna. You just pulled it in. You yeah. It in. I'm, I'm gonna place it back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you know what I mean. So yeah. it looks closed. So we can get our shit together. Okay. Yeah. I think right. if we free the rogue, at least more yeah. barn will have a chance to sneak up and stealth. Maybe yeah. Um, I, yeah. My chains are all clanking. Yeah, yeah. we got it. That's a problem. <laughs> uh, help! Help me free her. Should we make like, a lot of freedom? I gotta get these chains off me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll go back to working on her chains. Has yeah. it been a minute? Right. You guys take some time, and, and it doesn't. It, it it doesn't take you. It's not too hard for both of you. But you guys manage to like rip off uh, more barns chains just down to the shackles. Um, and uh, the only one of you that has nothing, no shackles on is Zog Chen for sure. You just smashed everything out. Uh, Tearless, you um, uh, you still have the shackles on all your on everywhere, but the chains are large to kind of like uh, let up. Um, you do have lengths of chain in the room though, if you wanted to use. Yeah, we can mm. use these as weapons or something, right? Like, that, I believe a chain is considered a monk weapon, if I'm not mistaken, too. So you might yeah, it is actually nunchucks. You can make some nunchucks or just use well, the. I mean. The more barn, you you know, like I mean, a chain doesn't doesn't make a half bad garrote in, in a pinch. Oh no, I think we should definitely keep the chain. Mm -hmm. okay. so I'm gonna give you guys you guys have you guys have two links on chain and actually I'll, I'll say four lengths of chain intact. Okay. Uh, one of them is is ten feet long, and then the the other three are like like maybe like three to four feet. And can we attach that rock to one of them? What do you got? Super glue? Like, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Trying to wrap it around now. It's not working. Uh, yeah, that would eat up the whole length of the chain. Yeah, that, that seems, you're better off just whipping up the chain, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> chain to shackle. Uh, you're, you're like, my, my friend, my friend got a fight years back and like he, he dropped a cue ball in a sock. Yeah, that that's, that's was, right. someone oh, was watching, uh, that's what's, uh, what's it called? Is that a movie? Seagal. There was a Seagal movie that they put the cue ball in. Yeah, yeah. Um, Someone's someone watching too much TV in that fight. I guess under, that. under siege. Just kidding. <laughs> Probably, yeah. The cruise and you will go to jail. No self defense is going yeah. to uh, work for you. But anyway. Okay. So, yeah, so you, so you yeah. have this link to chains, and you, uh, you're, you know, uh, you guys are all armed up decently. Uh, more barn, swinging the chain for you is going to be kind of hard. You're more of like choke them out type situation. Uh, I'll tell them to, um, you know, I've been feeling uh, my, my ancestral spirits around me. So if we do go into battle and I attack, um, I feel like they'll come to our aid. Oh, yeah. You guys so. noticed, too, that when uh, the trouncer, is that what you chose? Is the, you chose the ancestral thing? Yeah, yeah. So you guys noticed, too, that when, when, when the trouncer started, like, really trying to break the chains, you started kind of seeing, like, kind of almost hearing, like, mystically, like, in the distance. You weren't sure what it was initially, but you could hear kind of um, chains, like, uh, uh, or not chains, like, 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 galloping kind of around him. 
Get used to that. Just kidding. <laughs> guys better get used to that because they're nice, going to come nice to our aid. You say that too when it happens. You're like, yo. That, <laughs> that's exactly it. That's exactly it, Andrea. You are, you are, that's, yeah. Machines like Ronnie James Dio. Your hair looks me. great. Yeah. Murray. Um, Murray. I like the fact that no one was shocked over the fact that I hulked out. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, "Why didn't you do that in the pit while we were fighting, yeah. Zogchen?" I <laughs> yeah. that would have been and impressive. Technically, I'm completely naked at the moment <laughs> once I shrink yeah. because uh, I don't I don't have uh, Bruce Banner special pants here. Uh, they actually do your 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 positions actually do expand with you, so you're you were oh shit really yeah. Well, that's 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 a DM call. I was ready that's, to go. That's too bad. That's too bad. I was out dick out for good. Harambe. Let's go. <laughs> I'm doing it. Harambe. That's right. I pulled that one out too. Rest in peace, Mitzi yeah, Hustle. If, if the target of the spell is a creature and and uh, is where everything is wearing and carrying changes size with it. So nice. any any drop okay. you drop though, then go back to normal size. So like all your gold coins would be huge in your hand. <laughs> but then like as soon as you put them on the table, they get small. Yeah. <laughs> Take um, this gold. <laughs> yeah, but so. your skin is really loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Like Ric Flair. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you, you go in. Uh, uh, eventually, Zogchuk kind of goes back to normal size. Uh, Tearless, you kind of calm down. The, you guys can kind of hear this, like, like him channeling. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with kind of like, I don't, I don't know, man. I feel like like this like thundering like i don't want to say thunder horse but thundering like centaur force around you that's, that's okay. kind of my idea yeah yeah um and uh yeah if it, 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 it this is the first time you've experienced like like those ancestors calling to you but like they you get you you see in your in your mind kind of like the centaurs running free across like the grasslands at their height and you're being called back to this kind of like uh, freedom that, that you've never you've never known. Okay. That you feel is your birthright. Uh, more barn. Very man of war. Wow. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, man of war. I was gonna yeah. say this I was going is like a war. big moment. This is I was going man of war. Yeah. I want I want man of war centaur art. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Give me that. <laughs> do, they, do they also have a problem with rape culture in your uh, ancestral? Uh, <laughs> trade trade the rape culture for uh, just wanting to piss everything, piss on everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that that that's a centaur culture. Yeah, I mean it's not as offensive, yeah. but it, it's it, it is offensive, but it's not as offensive. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it's, it's very it's we're very it's very we're a tribe of urinators. Yeah, yeah. tribal urinators. <laughs> <laughs> so um, piss. <laughs> Piss out my ass. I am from the tribe R of <laughs> Kelly. All right. Um, <laughs> Ooh. That was a rough one. Okay. Um, so you um, you feel um, uh, you guys kind of take a take a second, kind of regain after this like real rush. I mean, it was a rush of of energy and forces coming all over all of you. Um, knowing though, you still are kind of I don't want to say frail, but like you're still kind of fragile. What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to try to wait time? Do you want to try to go out there, sneak around, just get out of there? What's I your... would at least do a short rest. We can, I guess, okay. set up a uh, okay. watch because one hit point. I mean, I oh, plan yeah. on using that door and I'm going to try to. Well, um, I, I, don't know I, will, able... I will, I will allow. So I'm going to use a, a, there's a house rule called Ar Arduous Rally, I think it's called. One well, of Matt Mercer's house rules. And basically you can take a five minute short rest. Oh, nice. Okay. Problem with those, you get a level of exhaustion. Okay. And then let me see the first level of exhaustion. I forget. That's uh, that's a disadvantage on saving rules. No I disadvantage believe. on uh, ability checks. So ability save, checks. Okay. Builds okay. An initiative is really my big deal. And so, second yeah. level of exhaustion is problematic because then we get disadvantage on attack rolls too. No, that's third. Uh, that's second third, level okay. is, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Second says D and D Beyond. Says, this is this is when like the animated birds like fly around my head. Like I have no speed idea is what they're talking yeah, speed about. Is yeah, speed is half. So that's not so, you know. But yeah, one level one. Is, you can manage it. So you guys kind of take a second and kind of rally up. Um, go ahead and do your yeah. your short rest. Uh, oh, nice. I, I okay. can I can do that for you real quick, Andrew, if you want me to. Tell uh, me one more time. Uh, they're going to take it. You're doing what's called a short rest, which basically means you can like blow what are called hit dice to get hit points back. Okay. 
Do, so do you want to do that real quick? I'm assuming you do. Because you guys are- Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, we're, we're D12. Well, I'm using all of my hit dice. I'm going to let you guys know. OK. Yeah, why not, all right. right? All right. So I'm going to use uh, two. I'm going to use two. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll roll for uh, my favorite die, the 1d12. It is nice. Yeah, 1d12 plus two. Okay, so 2d12 plus four. Oh my god. Oh. I rolled a four. Not bad, not bad, huh? Plus two, plus two. So I really, I just got eight from that. Nineteen. All right, I'm all the way back up. All right, I got uh, more barn. I, I did, I did your sheet for you. You Should be at eighteen hit points. So I'm gonna, have... I'm gonna use my last uh, hit die then, since okay. that was so poor. There we go. Nine plus two, eleven. So I recover eleven more. All right. Oh, very cool. So yeah, you're a little bit better. Um. Bowling your dodecahedrons. Yeah. <laughs> How many key points do I get for level three? Uh, level up? three, you should have. Where am I at here? You know, that's one thing I know some DD Beyond I, I can't find is that it, do they have a key counter? Yeah, it's under your actions at the very bottom if you scroll down to actions. Okay. That's like at the very bottom. Oh, no. You should have three gotcha. now. <laughs> oh, I got three now. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you go ahead. You guys all kind of take a second. Get your bearings, kind of come up with a plan while you're sitting there kind of chilling. Like, take about five minutes, kind of rally yourselves up, feel a bit better. Uh, you guys do gain a level of exhaustion. Uh, okay. You feel, you're like, okay, we can do this, we can do this. But, like, the intensity and, and, and that intensity kind of takes a toll on you. Um, you definitely okay. have a little bit of anxiety. Little, not, not fear, but it's just kind of an anxiety. Um, adrenaline's pumping. And um, you're like, we're going to do this thing, man. Let's go do this thing. And uh, so what do you, uh, what's the plan? Yeah, Zogchen, are you gonna, you gonna so I'm, use the door as a shield? Yeah, well, I mean, I was able to rip out the door when I was larger. Now that I'm-, I'm No, you couldn't. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was gonna actually just take it and, and bum rush it. But uh, in this case, I'm just gonna get some chains, baby. So you got a chain? Yeah. yeah. Uh, More bar, you grab a chain. Going out no. first. Uh, Zogton, you wrap your fists up in chains. Nice. Hell yeah. Cool. Yeah. I look like a 90s uh, superhero from a comic, just chains and pockets everywhere. Yeah, 90s. Awesome. Was, that, was, that, was, that, was that 90s Luke Cage that did that shit? Yeah. It was everything. It if was you everything. were a comic character yeah. in like 92, and you didn't have shitloads of chains on you. Yeah. <laughs> pouches, baby. Go to my pouches. All right. Uh, so you, you, uh, you rally up and. Uh, as you guys are kind of like getting ready to go for the door, the door like kind of swings open pretty easily. And there's okay. like in there with a sword. Uh, he's got a shield and he's got like, he doesn't have a sword ready, but he's got, he's got his, uh, he's got a shield in his back. He's kind of opening the door and he looks and he goes, it's like his eyes get real big. Uh, roll initiative. Okay. I was like, it's dinner time. Remember, <laughs> you, you, you do have a little exhaustion, so you guys get disadvantage on this. On yeah. initiative? Yeah. Okay. On initiative. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to roll 220s right now. Plus one. 12. 12, very nice. Four. Nine. Four. I was going to grapple him, but <laughs> I'm <scared. laughs> yeah, I guess not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Andrew, just roll the roll initiative twice and tell me what the lowest one is. Uh... It's right by your armor class. Yeah, no, I found it. I just. Uh, don't, tell, don't show the results. I forgot what my lower one was. I'm pretty sure it was a seven. I oh, rolled okay. it twice. Okay. Um, so Zogchen, uh, you're staying there, and this guy's kind of like, like mouth agape, seeing you guys all fairly free. Uh, what do you want to do? Right to the Nards, baby. All right, you go up. Boom. Uh, I'll give you a I'll give you advantage on attack roll because he's like shocked. Like he's like, what the hell? Oh, I'm gonna load on this mother. Yeah. I, I got key <laughs> points ready. So this is just the first attack. Gonna hit him with some pain. Take a shit. Uh, what's that? Plus five. Uh, that would be seventeen. Seventeen Ooh. with your unarmed strike. It does strike. Yep. Does not have a shield ready. Yeah, uh, his right. balls are fucked. Shattered. <laughs> Shattered. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, that would be seven. Seven to the nards. You give him the first hit with with the chains. You bloody yeah. his face. Uh, give me this. Are you you, you give? Oh, me. I'm doing a flurry of blows, baby. <laughs> two, more, two more attacks. Like, and his yeah. balls. The old ball I'm and like, chain. Uh, <laughs> old ball and chain. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The old, the old, the old chain on balls. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 
so I, I don't get advantage on these, right? Yeah, you get advantage on the whole round. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, well, this is because I get two attacks with the flurry of blows, right? So you have three attacks on the round, yeah. Okay, so here's the first one. Nice. Uh, that would be 18, so that's a hit. Yep. And, yeah, that's 22. That's a hit. Nice. So, there you two, go, there you go, Doug Chen. Yeah. The ball That'd bash. Be ten, 10 in total. Ten, 10 more damage? Yeah, it's like uh, Fist of the North Star. So you the, you the, go up and you start event. smashing this dude pretty bad. He he takes the hit, but like he's like his face, like his face is massively bloodied. You can see like the bruising on his face, and stuff like that. but he's like, like he's kind of taken aback by it, but he's still yeah, standing. Baby. What's that? Yeah, I said, yeah, I hit him with the garbanzo beans. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry. He must have a cup on. Uh, <laughs> a cup. Six peas. Yeah. All right. So, um, so Zogchen goes up and just hand, like I mean tears his dude up pretty bad. Um, next up is Morbarn. Actually, this guy did not roll that well initiative. Initiative. So Morbarn, you're standing there. Uh, what do you want to do to this guy? Um. I want to ask him if he's okay. No, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my chain uh -huh. and I'm gonna scurry up his body okay. and wrap the chain uh, around his neck. Give me, um, I'll, I'll, uh, give me an athletics <sighs> check with like the, fucking Princess uh, Leia with Jabba. So, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Roll a roll a raw athletics check. So it's a D twenty plus four on your, on your sheet there. The old Copy choke job out. I like that. The old choke job. I have move. I have acrobatics plus three. Does that matter? I oh, know athletics. 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 My it bad. It was plus four. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Oh. So you go up and you you um you kind of like jump at him with your chains and kind of come up behind and kind of swing around the back of his head and you have him grappled and choking him. Nice. Uh, yeah. He he's like oh, he can't reach for he's yeah. out, he now can't reach for a shield. <laughs> Goes to hit his Wait, so the dude just got his nuts like rattled, and now someone's choking him out. Dude, that sounds like a hey. I, hey, I know people that pay good money for that kind of treatment. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> While twisting his balls. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, now we're, now we're, now we're going to go horse play. All right. So, uh, <laughs> horse play. Yes. Wow, that's, oh, that's funny. Right. We give the DM inspiration right there. Yeah. yeah okay. There you go. So, um, uh, you can see that, like, you see Zogsman, like, pound this dude, uh, Morborn's, like, choking him. He goes for his sword. He pulls his blade and he tries to stab Zogchen with his sword. Um, Zogchen. He actually manages to stab you uh, twice. Oh, yeah, he actually goes like a little slash, slash, um, despite his. Energy. You like it? <laughs> yeah, I, I think we energized him. Uh, he got you for thirteen damage total. Damn boy! Oh. Right, so he goes slash, slash, um, and he's he's like he's like holding he's like trying to slash back. Uh, tearless, you see him? Uh, you think you could with your big length of chain? You think you could just whip him? Yeah, yeah. Let's give him a good whipping. All right. Uh, this is a straight straight attack roll for you. Um, okay. The chain will do. Um, a, it will Four. do six plus uh, three damage. So, so just straight attack uh, yeah, with straight strength. Attack, yeah. Okay. Three plus five to hit. Yeah. Okay. Twenty total. Was that twenty total? Okay. Yeah. yeah give uh, give me the damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was it again? Sorry. Uh, D six plus three. Okay. Four. Four. Okay. So you smashed him across it. He's still like. Uh, He's still standing uh, as you do this to him and smash him, but like he's like going down. Like you can see his left knee is starting to give out on him. Like he's starting to like go to sleep, mm -hmm. basically. Nice. Uh, he and, and as Morbarn holds it on to him and Zoshan kind of like is, is tearing into him, he kind of like, like starts to stumble over. He's not dead, but he's definitely not conscious or going to okay. get up anytime soon. To strip him of his clothing and kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless we want to ask I mean, him any I mean, questions, the, no, we could the, interrogate dude, him. But I'm gonna be honest. The, the dude just we like shot my life him. in half. Yeah. He yeah. yeah. yeah he, he beat you up. Yeah, he beat you up. Yeah. Just snuff his life flame. <laughs> just so you know. No, I mean, yeah. You want to tell more about more about his life? Him out. Like he just crushes his throat. I mean, it wouldn't be hard. Yeah. To 
Um, what do you want to do with him? Yeah, I want to brutalize right. him. You just, yeah, you put him down. <laughs> you break his throat and his neck off, and his like his head goes limp. Um, and yeah. he lets go of his sword, which is standard. There's a but I'm, I'm like freaking out, right? And fucking <laughs> Tyrolis is like, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, ah! it's over. It's over, Marborn. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I just think that that would add a little bit more of, like, good. the dynamic like about yeah. how... Hell like, yeah. Hell yeah. I like it. So, um, uh, Tierra, so there is, on the ground now, there's a sword and shield. Okay. Um, he does have his chainmail armor, which I don't mean, spend the time to try to take it off him. It's kind yeah. of a blur, but none of you guys are really that, that type. It wouldn't fit Tierra either. I uh, see if uh, Zogchen wants the shield since he got injured, you know, if that'll help him. I mean, nah, I, I don't... As, as a monk? No. Nah. You're like, I don't do shields, man. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't going to use it as a shield. I was just going to use it when I was bigger just to yeah. like kind of okay. plow over people. Uh, nah. I want to see if anybody wants the sword of Morbarn. Anybody wants the sword. I'll take the shield then Here, for now. Fearless, I'll take the sword. One, you're the only one that's actually like good with a sword. Okay. So I'll take whoa, the Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Excuse me. Uh, my level three upgrade, I took the path of uh, the Kenshi. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, and, I, and I picked a, a short sword so I could get a katana blade. Katana, uh, katana in my game is a is a long sword, actually. Well, I'm going to retcon that and say uh, long sword then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Katanas are pretty sick. They're sweet, man. Okay, so, yeah, okay. so so in katana is a different weapon than long sword. Um, so I'll, I'll be clear. I know what a katana is. No, I'm, no, just to be clear, in my, my game, like the technical rules wise, it's oh. different. Some people will say it's the same thing, but it's, it's not at all in my game. Yeah. Um, okay. It's, it's a dex. But, but yeah, this is more of like a brutal kind of standard longsword. Okay. okay. Strength based, where katanas in my game are dex based. All right. Oh, exactly. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I'll so, wield uh, both. I'll right, wield so both. Fearless brings the sword and the shield up. Um, and uh, you uh, you can see there's like, there's also like other. Um, you see another guard out in the distance, kind of like some people are kind of looking over, like, what the hell is going on? Okay, now is the time to rush them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. dash. Let's, Let's you, guys, you guys start rushing out there uh, yeah. towards these other guards. Uh, these other guards, they they see the three of you and they know they're outnumbered and like they kind of start running, like they kind of halt up and like look like they're gonna run off and try to like regroup somewhere. Um, you're welcome to chase them down to your Damn, like, that's odd behavior for dead people. <laughs> do we chase them or do we look for our friends to free the rest of us uh our fr our friends are our friends not... will, will not be found until next week okay. um, yeah <laughs> well, should i just trample honesty, them should i just trample in all them honesty, yeah i think about not necessarily just killing them but definitely finding out what the hell is going on uh, and also, we don't want them running around telling people that we're out, yeah, too. Yeah. Okay. So I'll. That, I that's, will... that's just my opinion. Okay, it's Dominic. a good one. Sorry. Dominic just messaged me. He thought he thought it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> he's okay, still. Yeah. Uh, he's still a uh, jet lag. That, that, yeah. That, that's why. That's why he's he's all punk rock. Um, <laughs> all right. I thought no, it was it's, cool. it's, it's all good. But yeah, yeah, you know, if I am able to chase them down, because if oh, I get yeah, a hit no, on them, you could you could catch them pretty. Uh, quickly, it looks like they're running for a better fortify, a, a, a better like uh, building that's actually like kind of fortified out here. Um, but there I'm is another building, like... uh, not too far. <laughs> nice. Um, <Yeah. laughs> there's Dominic. Nice. Uh, there, there is, though, is. however, it's all left. Hidden... <laughs> <laughs> across across from the building you guys escaped from, there is another building that's identical to the one you guys came out of. Probably holding them over there. Okay. But uh, yeah, I will try to chase down these these guards. All right. And, uh, give them a cutting down. Okay, so Tyrion starts trying to chase the guards down. Um, the uh, what about Morborn and Zogchen? All right. So you're saying that there is a similar yeah. thing there. Uh, given that you're a rogue, Morborn, you would have a better shot freeing our possible compatriot. Mm. Um. Because, I mean, there's not really much. I, I can't get bigger again. No, uh, yeah. I think it's <laughs> that's sneaking what, that's around is 
<laughs> you can only get big for a minute. What's a day, man? What's a day? Yeah. I got I got that ED issue. What can I tell you? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I would I would suggest it, you'd be better trying to to free some more people, and and Trouncer and I will uh, yeah try to get these guards. That, that's again, that's just my my opinion. Like I'll it. do whatever. We yeah, could hold them off I'm, or kill them while you try not. to see if you can find oh, them. Oh, okay. I'm the breaker of chains. That's right. Dio, Dio said it best. All right. So, <laughs> so you um you go up and you uh Morborn, you go over and start trying to mess with like the door and such. Zogchen and Tearless, you actually um these guys have kind of a, a pretty good lead on you, and they manage to get into this building. Um, right. it's a pretty good size um. Not a fortress, but more of like a fortification out here. Um, it looks yeah. like your best guess is this is where the guards and like that wizard, uh, if, if for, I think his name is Fornis. I can't remember now. I'll look her name up again. Um, but the, <laughs> Cowards! They, they, were, uh, they were holding up in here. Okay. However, though, you guys okay. are, you do know that some of your, uh, your crew is not going to be, you just not as many of you as there was earlier. Yeah. And, and there is, um, you guys are not entirely well armed. It's like I like running after them, and yeah. then I'm just you turning back. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is uh, the end scene of Willow. What if we What if we crack big holes in the ground, yes. cover it up with tents? Yeah, like in Red Dawn. Oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> now, well, let's go help free some people then. So, so yeah. Morgan, you um, you go up to the door there, and um, uh, it's it's not too hard to unlatch on the outside. You kind of unlatch it and set it up, and you uh, look inside. Inside, you see uh, chained up, unconscious Norovar, and you see um, I forgot her name. Uh, Saria, Saria, chained Is it up. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I told I told him your shame. <laughs> we are aware of your shame. Dude, my shame. Dude, are you guys telling me you always know what day it is? <laughs> no. I set up an alarm system. Uh, that's funny. No. Well, it's time to free them. And I at least have yeah. the sword we can use to cut mm -hmm. the chains. Oh, yeah. Norvar, wake up! Wake up! Wake oh, up! Fucking, uh, fucking what? So, so Norvar, you're you're chained up. Your arms are above your head, and you can feel that on your feet you have shackles. And you see uh, slumped over across the room, Saria, like unconscious. And but through the through the door where you can, the, there's not a lot of light. It's 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 nighttime outside, but you can see uh, Morvar standing there, the silhouette of, of this small gnome. You know, are my arms like this? Yeah. Okay. I wake up and I go. Oh fuck! Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Dislocate your thumbs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to free yourself, though. No. <laughs> hey, my favorite gnome. Where are I'm we? Here. What's happening? No time for that. I need okay. to get you out of these chains right now. Take your time, please. Smash this door oh. down. How I, do we? Get I crawl up. I pull out my uh, my tools, okay. and I can actually pick the lock. So yeah, you you have a few, you have kind of a, a, a set a make, makeshift a set of thieves tools, and you go up and try to pick the uh, the shackles and like that. Make a thieves tools check. Uh, More barn. This is a uh, D twenty plus five check for you. While you're doing this, I'm gonna say, More barn. Do you remember when we met and you randomly drew a picture on my shirt? That was weird. That's so much has happened since then, dude. <laughs> I know, but I sometimes when things get weird, you know, like I wake up cuffed in a dungeon and you're <laughs> trying to get me out. I think I met this gnome when he drew a picture on me. Why did that happen? This gnome choked a guard with a to chain be... and then broke, stomped its neck. Yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> more barns like it was my first time speaking in a D&D &D campaign. <laughs> and I was, I was like short circuiting. I was like, I, me, me, me. Hey, no judgment. I'm just trying to say I'm glad we're friends. Same. 24. So, 24. Very nice. So you go up and you manage to like completely uh, free Norvar in a much more elegant way than you than the rest of you guys got freed. Yeah, my thumb is all fucked up. 
Yeah, you notice that, yeah, Norbart, you notice that, like, Morbart has an extensive amount of bruising uh, on their left hand. What have you been yeah. doing, jacking it hard? What the hell happened to you? <laughs> what the hell's been going on since I've been asleep? What are you guys doing? I don't know well, how you, you jack that. it. Yeah, I was say, all right, Kung Fu grip. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the reality well, is... Don't, hey, dude, yeah. don't, that's like the wrong time to use Smite. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I can get feelings. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no, seriously, like, uh, what the fuck happened to you? Where is everyone? Why am I... You know what? Tell me while we run. Where, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Saria is in the room. Tell me. Yeah. Hey, Saria yeah. is here, too. Yeah, Saria... She's oh, chained yeah. up? Is yeah. she oh, chained yeah. up? Is she passed out, maybe? Yeah, she's passed out, like, hanging from the wall. She's passed no out. Let's get her out of here. You know, what is it with the half-elves getting chained up and everyone else is free? With the... This well, they, they did segregate you guys. We were all, cha we were all chained up. We were. Now, you know, I mean, that Morborn has... Morborn has, sh uh, like, kind of... Um, on one of their on one of their arms, like a cuff still, and does have, like, uh, what looks to be leftover broken shackles on their uh, legs. This is the worst Columbus Day ever. This is the kinkiest, weirdest thing I've ever woken up to. Uh, Actually, it's not. It's is, okay. is today Columbus Day? No, I don't know. I mean, who well, is Columbus are, anyway? You so are, let's uh, <laughs> look like your like your cuffs. <laughs> we should get her down. I'll carry her. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my God, what is happening? I was gonna carry her out. She's passed out. Like you want to carry her? No, I'm gonna throw her over my rug. Tell you what, no, you want to carry her? That's fine. I just, I was trying to be helpful here. I just want to get the hell out of here. Let's get her. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. This got very Bill Cosby very quick. What's I get Bill Cosby. Fuck you, monk. <laughs> like, what the hell? Are you even here? <laughs> oh, you should see. I got really large earlier. Yeah, he hopped out. Yeah, I hopped out. His, out. his beard's all burnt up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm you get. Yeah, is Norbar, he in the room? You are, you are a little scorched. Uh, you don't have any of your weapons or your gear right now, but you are. Um, or you have your. You have your. Yeah, he's he's all fucked up. From you have your that armor. Hard. Uh, but you don't have any of your weapons on you or your shield or something like that. Um, I but yeah, you, that. you guys do manage to free Saria, and okay. you uh, pull her. You, you kind of uh, you can carry out no Barn, not a problem. Oh, is that okay, or should Morbarn do that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to be helpful with our unconscious comrade, but apparently that's too Bill Cosby for this fucking group. <laughs> so if somebody else wants to drag her fucking lifeless body by all fucking means. <laughs> Stop your bickering and just throw her over my rump. Right, so you guys call, you, you bring out Saria uh, and you you place her on top of uh, Tearless's back, has slumped over. Um, you look off and you can see this fortification that looks like you're actually noticing there's no like guards walking around anymore. Um, they've kind of abandoned it, and it looks like the only place that has lights on is this fortification. Your best guess is that this is the last bastion they have for this location uh, prior to like getting the asses kicked. Um, you can start, you kind of look off in the distance, and the one major source of light that kind of like your, your eyes kind of have to adjust, Norvar, is you can see the gate that you guys stormed earlier is on oh. fire. Oh. <laughs> Large, large flames. So it hasn't um, been that long. You guys have been con you guys have been conscious for like about like four or five hours. Um, the uh, as you notice that parts of the wall start to crumble, and you can see on the other side of it probably about um, maybe a hundred, hundred fifty people, different members of the forced labor camp, uh, have pulled it down. And they, they're not all armed, but some of them do have, like, makeshift, like, sticks and stones and, and chains or whatever it is. And it looks like they're getting ready to march over this flaming barrier towards where you guys are. I look at Morborn and uh, Zog Chen and uh, Trouncer and I go, did, did, did we do that? Was that, was that us? I think we started it. <laughs> no, we didn't oh, start we the bad and then I bust out the Billy Joel. Yeah. We didn't start the fire. We did, we did get well, hit by a fireball. It, it was, was always fireball. turning. It was, no, it was always it was always burning since the session's been turning. Yeah, but oh, that's dude, that's a sick song. For, yeah. Oh, I was thinking of a different one. I was thinking of uh, Midnight Oil. Oh. Oh, that's how Billy 
Joel. No, that no, doesn't I was, well. I was, yeah. Oh. I, which is better because Billy Joel sucks. But anyway, continue. Midnight Oil is much better. <laughs> Midnight Oil. Norvar, uh, are you able to heal yourself? We we all awoke uh, gravely injured. With oh, one yeah, point. man. I, I, I probably you haven't had a long rest, Norvar. Huh? <laughs> I've had a long rest or no? You have not. I'm not. Yeah. And, and Zog Shen uh, is hurt as so well. You do have, I think you, you have 10, you still have 10 um, uh, yeah. lay on hands. Who needs the help most? Who, who needs help? Okay. <laughs> okay, Zog well, my Shen thumb got... hurts. My thumb really hurts. Yeah, we got to put that back in place for you. As a Come here, you dirty gnome. Let's go fix Pop it. it. All right. I can do that because I have medical training. Also, I believe in myself. So I lay my hands <laughs> on uh, my good gnome, perverted gnome friend, and try and heal them up. Uh, so, I'm going to give you, I mean, how low are you in points? Morbon's not in bad shape. Actually, Morbon's like physically good. It's just that like the thumb's fucked up. That's it. Okay. You know, I got, I got stabbed a couple times. <laughs> yeah, Zogchen's uh, the one that has like stab wounds. Yeah, Zogchen's okay. bleeding. Technically, okay. technically, he's bleeding out. Okay, like, well. My yeah. thumb. I don't have a healer kit. Uh, whoever needs to help it. the most, I can stabilize a little bit with my yeah. shirt. Or Maybe. something like I at least until we get somewhere better, so, I can take care of you. Pretty good now that the, the half elf you, picked the uh, medical work. And you okay. you missed it. I did. Uh, I I used the guards' balls as a speed bag. <laughs> yeah, they like up. they they work yeah. the guy, they they work the guy's balls while they choked him out, and he, he <laughs> yeah. Didn't, he didn't even I did a flurry of blows on his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> horrifying. I, dude, but people I'm are gonna write blessed. in. They'll be, yeah. <laughs> That's horrifying, but impressive. So yeah, let oh, me. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna reach out and how low are you, Chen, in hit points? Just uh, I, I went down you. half. I was I got hit for thirteen. Okay, and then how low are you? Um, Trouncer is at I'm at twenty one out of thirty eight. But you know I have a shield. I have the sword. Yeah, oh, nice, nice. I have You're, one more rage. Trouncer, Trouncer, and, and Morbar are in reasonable shape. Where I'm at. just trying to yeah identify. Okay, Zog Chen, I'm gonna give you. Um, I'm going to try and set. Can I do a roll of trying to set and bind uh, for, I don't have a healer's kit. No, you would, you could do your lay on hands. That's pretty much all you could do. He's, he's, he's okay. He's just, I mean, I have medicine okay. plus two. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I will heal. Uh, I'm going to give, um, I'll give eight points to Chen okay. and two points to more barn and try and focus on that thumb. Okay, so yeah, yeah, more it's gonna your, swell your really thumb. bad. I can set it, but it's Morbon's gonna swell. Shape. Morbon's actually almost max, like one hip point max. You're you're in really good shape there, Andrea. So you feel oh. a bit better. It, you feel some. You feel like that. Like when, when to be honest, like I have only two hands, and if one of them gives me a disadvantage, then we need to fix that. Well, they, they, and they did. <laughs> he, he, he did. He managed to kind of heal your I hand. Focused. I focused on the thumb. Yeah. 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 You put it on the thumb. You're no he longer. heard the noise like, oh. and then I reached in and I yeah. put my hands on <laughs> Chen and I was like, don't. don't. I'm like, Norvar, I stepped on a nail. Can you remove don't. it from my hoof? <laughs> and I heal him and I'm like, there's only so much I, okay. I, I'm i I'm a little tired. Let's get the hell out of so here. So as you guys stand, so I'm there, healing, you, so stand I'm there, healing. you can see that the, the, this fortification is pretty good size. It's kind of a bigger tower than like the watchtower. Um, it's about, um, I think it's like I think it's three stories. I'm talking about it's three or four stories tall. It's three stories tall at least. Goes up about um, forty feet or so. Um, it looks heavily fortified. Like the walls are well made stone. Um, it you can only guess that like you're not sure how many people are in there, but you know there's probably at least like six more guards in there. The people start kind of coming over. Um, one of the uh, the dwarves that you you know uh, from the dwarf from Brotherhood, Zog Chen, comes over to you. One of the ones you remember seeing storm the gates with you guys that survived. And he says, uh, we were worried. We were worried you're all dead. We're alive and well. Good to see that you made it. Yeah, that's that was that was a stupid thing to think. <laughs> that's oh. rude. We're just happy to be alive. <laughs> um, don't mind them. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's say. How are you guys doing? You guys doing okay? The your actions, your actions uh, last night were inspired many. Seeing those guards fall, 
the mm. and the and more importantly, the walls fall. Yeah, it's, yeah. Kill, we'll kill more. Do you have any weapons to uh, lend? <laughs> we can do that. Your your possessions may be in one of the in, in one of the uh, storage sheds. There's like a few sheds here and stuff like that. You might be able to find some stuff or find All weapons. Right, let, but they they start coming through and like looting. Um, Oh, I guess it's not looting, but like they're like taking uh, weapons off of wherever they can. And some are finding find like swords and shields, daggers, bows and arrows. Whoa, whoa, I get it on that. Hold on, everybody, yeah. wait a second. Let me, let me. If anybody's all right, all right. Can my trident? Oh, I will oh, strangle everybody, everybody. you. Norbar, Norbar is getting his FOMO again. Yeah, I don't have anything, and I'm also out of healing juju. That's so. a, actually my my dog. My my dog has a really bad FOMO, and whenever he does that, yeah. we have, we have a we have a rapper name for him. We call him Little FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that my ability that, that my interest in being armed and willing to protect myself and my friends seems to come across as FOMO <laughs> I still got these chains wrapped around my hands yeah you do yeah. too yeah. I look like fucking spawn right now I'd like to find my trident or my morning star but uh, you know let's see what we can uh, yeah, get you actually managed to find all your guys' gear without much issue yeah cause uh, not much in my shit <laughs> if you want other mundane weapons, you can find them pretty easily for the most part. Um, Any katanas in that? Uh, in the <laughs> no, 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 no. no katanas. I also, part of the, the way of the Kenshi is I also can use a longbow now. So if anyone sees a longbow. Yeah, a longbow. You oh, can, nice. Well, there are certainly yeah. longbows with arrows. That's not an issue at all, actually. Cool. All right. Um, all right. Excellent. I'm so impressed that he hulked out. I'm really sorry I missed that. You missed it. It was yeah. it was awesome. impressive. He made he made a really impressive sound too. It was like No, no, I told you it's Ric Flair. Yeah, he's all Woo! Woo! This really? is true. So all those years that we were mining and working this all that that's last year it's you kind didn't of like think that great to... dwarf puberty. You know, all of a sudden I can just do it. Yeah. Right. I was surprised he did not use this ability in the pit fighting me. But... I know. I wish I wish I could have done it too. <laughs> all right let's yeah. uh strategize these these so, folks and uh you're kind of looking yeah so everybody's kind of rallying up and uh it seems that they're looking to you for guidance uh these people um and your uh i had a, I had a name for your dwarven friend where to go uh how do i lose it there it is um your your dwarven the the one one of the members of the dwarven brother is still alive uh his name is uh nabrolim nabro nabrolim nabro nabro nabrolin okay and he, um, he's like josh brolin i was gonna i was thinking that yeah okay okay i think we should number. storm the the gates that those guards went in yeah, they, to they, rattle some more nuts. Their numbers have uh, have dropped, and uh, this is a perfect time for us to charge if we yeah. gather you guys, uh, these forces of all of us. But um, perhaps I can charge first, if if that okay. feels. Yeah, I will the, charge the, first. This isn't, this isn't like yeah. a wall. It's there. There's like minimal walls around this little fortification. It's more of kind of like. Uh, an overseer kind of like location that they can kind of watch the outside of the uh, the gates. Um, a lot of people are like kind of like edging off though, and it looks like they're just going to like get out of here, jump like out, they just yeah, walk out um, up up the kind of the slope that, that leads out of here. The way you guys are brought in, um, okay. some people are kind of worried about going up there because they don't know what's up there. They just know it's like a wasteland, is what they've heard for the most part, but they don't know what's beyond the pit. Not Maybe. Sure. We Maybe we should. <laughs> Maybe like we true. should. Uh, we should head out for the wasteland, or I mean, I mean, do we stay here and finish off the guards, or we just make our escape? Well, you do know the that the, the wizard, the wizard Ifornis, is probably in there. Yeah, we should and go away from fireball, this you guys. Yeah, <sighs> let's get out well, of here. I've been doing some thinking. If we can opt for the least violent option, I am going to support it. Yeah. I'm going to go anything. against my murder hobo nature. And head for the yeah. yeah. You probably. literally are the worst and, monk I've ever met. So. And Saria is uh, unconscious. We'd I'd yeah. hate to bring her into battle further in, in her life. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's, let's get the flock you out of here. Start, you guys start marching out of the pit 
Um, and everybody, some people are kind of like, they want revenge and they kind of want to set, like, try to set the thing on fire, but they're also like, it's, it's just, it's a better, it's a better, it's a better chance for us to get killed. Yeah. Um, or just dip your arrow in the fire and shoot it on our way out. You know what I mean? So yeah. we begin leading the march out of the pit, going up the slope, taking your time. Um, everybody kind of gathering up. People are kind of grabbing supplies where they can grab them. Um, there's not, people have like some amount of food, but they're not, they don't know how much, if they're going to be food up there or whatever it is, but they're willing to take a shot at like getting out and just staying here and dying. Yeah. This uh, is our best bet. Who, until the who's going to go to, yeah. who's going to go above the surface first? I'll lead it. I got a, I got a, pa a passed out person, you know, and I'm like, no shirt. I'll, 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 I'll go up to you. Nor of our interiors go yeah. up first. Uh, and uh, Tearless, for the first time, you see the horizon. Uh, I, so I'm, cr I'm, cr I'm starting to cry. So you, start, you start feeling your ancestors' energy kind of return to you. Very nice. Very nice. No, man, it's okay. There's lots of cool views like this. Like, this one's not even that good. <laughs> I reach out for Norvar's hand. It's not even that good, bro. <laughs> you, you can see Are we the holding hands now? That's awkward. It's kind, okay. of, it's kind of dark out, though. Like, it's, it's nighttime. It's maybe like, or it's like, Five in the morning or something like that. It's, it's still kind of the sun hasn't risen yet. You can kind of see some light in the distance. Zogchen, you come up as well. Uh, yeah. You know it's going to be painful to walk throughout in this uh, this light. Um, you don't see any trees or kind of cover. Uh, All right. But the sun begins to kind of rise in the horizon, mm -hmm. and you see this like as it kind of does. You see this like desert wasteland going in all directions, but there is one noticeable feature in all directions as well. So. There's other pits. Oh, wow. Oh, man, you went Bioshock wow. with it. <laughs> okay. It you is can, Detroit. There's other <laughs> there's other fallen towers, all the different, many, wow. probably about another dozen or so pits. Each one is smoldering, and you can see a broken shaft of a tower sticking out of it. Um, Interesting. And can I other. count how many, or is it like What's that? too many? What's that again? Can you count, Can how, many? count how many? Uh, you think you see another uh, 14 of them. Yeah. There might be more on the horizon. Um, and you can see people at other pits kind of wandering out slowly. I raised my trident. Yeah! Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, you're realizing just how that the that just how pervasive Zosh's reach and efforts have been over the last thousand years. Yeah, yeah, it's it pretty fucked up. Um, and then whoever done the, whoever was doing this, the benefactor. I mean, they have to be really powerful as well. How do we you, find this person? You, you bring this up tier list about the benefactor mm -hmm. and the idea of like that. There's someone or something out there that can take on a force of this nature. And as you do, uh, oh god damn it, a uh, a small a, 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 about a about a cantaloupe sized little float like floating eye. Spectator comes back, comes over you, uh, and floating around you, more barn. You're kind of you're kind of sitting there, and this little eye is like floating through. It's not as big as the last one. It's not basketball size. It's more like like maybe like a grapefruit. Less spectator. It um. Am I still holding ball. Trouncer's hand? <laughs> What's that? Am I still holding Trouncer's Trounc hand? You were the whole time. That's fine. Yeah. I just wanted to know where we were. Okay. It's, it's I, helping I me get, take in the view. I was just I saying, it a, No, I know. And we were yeah. holding hands and I, I give your hand a squeeze as this thing kind of circles us. I, oh, I turn around. Yeah. Morbar, as you, so you stand there in this little, this little tiny um, little floating eye thing with little stalks, much smaller than the last one you saw, like a quarter of the size. It has a little mouth and it says uh, in your ear coming up right behind you, it says, you have done well in proving yourself. Do we all hear that or just more burn? Oh, no, you guys all kind of hear it. But everyone else is kind of looking on the horizon. They don't really notice this thing. Um, but the rest of you guys have, can, can clearly see it. So you... It's that thing again. And I, like... I, lean, I lean over to Trance and I was like, don't look now, but there's a fucking eyeball talking <laughs> to our gnome. Oh, these are one of the alien creatures we saw in the yeah. tower, the fallen tower that the and benefactor it, used to contact us. I'm not going to let go of your hand now. The, uh... <laughs> God damn it. Right. <laughs> Sorry, you guys make it hard for me. Um, it, it says, 
we wish to speak to you in a more personal setting. Please follow me. Allow me. <laughs> and it begins to kind of float off in a direction. And everybody else is kind of wandering around figuring out what to do. It's just and break I'm like, off. You guys, you guys, we're gonna go. We're gonna go follow this dude. <laughs> when did, when did more barn uh I like, uh, come from the Jersey Shore. What's going Bar on? More barn came out of the 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 prison difference yeah, change. Different. Changed. I'm Very changed. Very changed. Like a, no. a North Jersey bro. You know what they say? Hey. No, gnome tan laundry. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Let's bring our friend uh, Nabralin. The dwarf. Actually, I'm English, so we've got to go. <laughs> Let's rock it. This the gnome is out of control. This gnome Bar -bar is out of Barbon's control. mind is cracked from the pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Personality. We gotta go. We gotta follow this eyeball. So you guys begin following this little floating eye, and it's going at a very slow pace. It's not going fast, but it's kind of taking its time. Um, and it goes off towards uh, the uh, away from the sunrise. Um, the sun begins to rise, and you're not sure what the future holds, but you do know that it seems that the benefactor is going to be a part of it. Yeah, we're going to need sustenance for sure. I and mean, that's we hope where to... we're going to let off for for this session. I oh. think the pit. That was good. And uh, Before, then uh, there's more pits. But they are, more, that, yeah. they are all blew. free. You're not going to have to sit Look at all these pits. pits. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was too good. You're missing Jerry. Look at, what? Look at oh, all these pits. Oh, pits. Oh, <laughs> It. One cherry pit for all the other pits. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I go and spit. Do cherry one. pits kill you or some shit? They have arsenic. They have like small traces small. of. There's old. Uh, my dad used to say this: uh, never have a persimmon and drink wine because it was like an old poison. It's like the oh, whole. Wow. Grape, it's like grapefruits. You know, you don't eat like a grapefruit, and it doesn't. It has natural like chemicals that conflict oh, with our medication or yeah all oh, kinds wow. of wow never right. have a persimmon in wine all right well we'll we'll, we'll leave off on that <laughs> advice then and everything too so that was fun that was a good one guys that was awesome yeah. that was a cool one that was fun